Hey everybody, in this reading we're looking at the most important thing that you need to know about right now at this very moment. And uh, this thing could be about love, friendship, trips, work, whatever comes up. I'll do one spread and maybe an additional clarification uh, spread if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Virgo, let's see what the uh, most important thing for you is r right now. We have uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Emperor, clarified by the Six of Wands. Uh, then we have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the uh, Two of Pentacles. And we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, or um, any Zodiac sign. Um, you have an invitation coming your way, or an offer or both, an invitation with an offer. It's coming from the Emperor, right there in the middle, okay? And uh, the Emperor feels good about it, right? And uh, you, on the other hand, you're gonna hesitate whether you should go or not, whether you should accept this invitation or not. All right, the, so let's talk about the Emperor real quick. We're right in the middle of an Aries birthday season. The Emperor is one of Aries' uh, major arcana cards. So this person could be an Aries, or this person could be a boss figure to you, or a future boss figure, or somebody who just recently got promoted. Or it could be both. An Aries who is <laughs> a boss figure. Let me know in the comments down below. Right? Uh, but uh, the Emperor is clarified by the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success. It's a card of being in the center of attention. It's a card of being promoted, awarded, rewarded. So if it is an Aries birthday party, obviously this person is going to be in the center of, of everyone's attention. Okay? If this is a boss, uh, perhaps they're celebrating something and they're still going to be in the center of attention. All right, or perhaps this person just has re really good intentions when it comes to you. They want to win you over, right, with the Six of Wands. And uh, to the left from the Emperor, we have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Page of Cups. The Six of Swords, with the Page of Cups, th you're going to be invited. I, I, I kind of assume there's going to be some kind of an event, right, that you're going to be invited to. Or perhaps this person wants to hire you, but in order for you to accept this job, you may have to relocate, or you may have to travel, or you may have to obviously quit your existing job and start this new job, right? That's what the Six of Swords could be, one of those. The Page of Cups is still an invitation, an invitation to go to this event, or an invitation to relocate, <laughs> or an invitation to whatever this thing is. The Lovers, on the bottom of the deck, could be a Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers is a card of a choice. So for some of you, it's a choice to whether accept this invitation or not, or maybe you have a couple of different invitations on the table, a couple of different offers, and you could be looking at those two different invitations, right? At the end, we have the Seven of Pentacles qualified by the Two of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles could be coming from the Emperor who is going to wait for you to respond, to wait for you to come, to wait for you to give him an answer. Um, and uh, with the Two of Pentacles, clarifying that, perhaps this is you thinking about it, right? The Two of Pentacles could be a card of juggling, so again, you may have more than one offer on the table, more than one invitation, or this is you just trying to decide, should I stay or should I go? Should I do this or not? Should I... you get the idea. All right? So that's what's going to be on your mind when this comes your way. All right? Uh, I'm kind of curious about what the uh, advice is. I'm not going to ask for a potential. I'm going to ask for an advice. <laughs> Perhaps the potential will also show up. All right, let's take a look. So here's the advice uh, for you, Virgo, for what we saw in the previous spread. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, clarified by the Six of Wands. And uh, we have uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, what's interesting about this reading is that, well, a couple of things, right? First of all, you're in this reading twice. The Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles, I assume both of those two cards represent you. And uh, the Hermit showed up on its own, and the Queen of Pentacles showed up as a, as a clarifier. <laughs> and the Six of Wands is also here. It's a repeat card. We saw it in the previous spread. But in the previous spread, the Emperor was clarified by the Six of Wands. In this spread, the Hermit is clarified by the Six of Wands. So perhaps what we saw in the first spread, this is you being offered the boss position. Right? Maybe you're being promoted, or and they want you to 
accept this promotion or maybe somebody wants to hire you and uh, that position is going to be like a manager position or a director or a C-level position but you're like you know what I don't know if I want to do this <laughs> or something like that or perhaps you tr you're playing a little game with them perhaps you're playing hard to get all right perhaps you want them to pay you a little more come come forward with maybe like a sign up bonus okay or if this is about love perhaps you're still playing hard to get <laughs> or maybe you're just uh, maybe you just need time you know maybe you just need time to think about it perhaps it's going to be something uh, very unexpected for you or you're thinking what's how am i going to benefit uh, if i do decide to go if this is simply an invitation to go somewhere all right so the good news is that i think in some shape or form you will still benefit from this in some shape or form you will feel like it's a victory for you like you're in the center of attention like you have succeeded you're being promoted and rewarded and awarded right that's what the 601 says it's a victory for you the hermit is your major arcana card and it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading it always says and uh, don't forget about the queen of pentacles that's you also um we start with the hangman though clarified by the three of the hangman could be a card of you trying to figure this out and putting this whole thing on hold Right, the hangman could be you, just taking your time. It could also be a card of a sacrifice. You know, perhaps if it is some kind of a job offer coming your way or promotion, you may have to sacrifice your time, right? Because you will have so many responsibilities on top of what you already do. The three of ones clarifying that uh, is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and uh, this decision is final. The Ace of Swords sometimes comes through as the word yes, Virgo. It, it, it really does. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. Perhaps you have like follow-up questions or maybe you want to clarify a few things. But it is the Yes card <laughs> of the Tarot deck. It really is. The Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Alright, we have two people in the Two of Cups. That's you and this person. And uh, it's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of when two people are on the same page and two people are feel the same way towards one another and at the same time when it comes to work business and finances I always interpret the two of cups as a handshake card perhaps this is you saying yes and shaking hands but maybe you just need to get a little more out of it if, especially if it's work business and finances maybe you can like to get as as much as you can out of it <laughs> negotiating it alright so that's the advice either negotiate or play hard to get but don't take it don't take it to an extreme you know take your time take your time I don't see you rushing into this especially with the hangman right the hangman is not a very fast moving card as a matter of fact it's one of the slowest cards in the deck so take your time think about it and uh, whatever strategy you have or if you just need to wrap your hand around this yeah take your time all right, and if you think this is something you want to do, yeah, I think it'll be all right. I think at the end of the day, you'll be the person in the 601s winning. You're definitely winning. All right, Virgo, I hope this made sense. So that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Virgo, have an amazing April.